Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about asbestos surveys and demolition. My name's Andy Hubbard. I've been in construction for over 30 years. I'm a bricklayer by trade, and this is what we do day in, day out. We take developments, build new houses, and we're gonna get share some of that knowledge and tips with you in this video. So please like and subscribe to this video and get ready for the content. You can check me out on the social medias, Andrew Hubbard. I'm on every single one out there. Um, go and check my content out. Lots of tips out there for you guys. So let's get started with the content. The first one is an asbestos survey. So what you'll do in this process is you'll get somebody who's qualified at doing the surveys for starters. They're gonna come out and they're gonna take some samples of the asbestos. And they'll take samples from things like coving, from the ceiling, from the walls. This particular property behind me uh, it was clad in asbestos some years ago to protect it from the weather before it was uh, refurbished. So anything before 2000, year 2000, needs an asbestos survey. After that, you're okay without it. But it's really important that you get this done because you are breaking the law if you decide to start taking buildings down um, without one of these uh, you know, surveys. Even if you're doing extensions and refurbs, again, before 2020, there's so much asbestos out there being used that you just want to make sure you're doing things correctly. So after the asbestos samples have been done, there's different types of asbestos and the survey will determine which ones there are. Some are more harmful than others. So again, it's important to check which one you've got. Uh, then the next thing to do is secure the site and the asbestos removal guys will come in. They're going to remove the asbestos safely so no one will be on site while that's being carried out. Uh, generally, they will spray the asbestos with water They'll put it into bags and seal it and then dispose of it properly. Now, it's really important that it's disposed of properly. Years ago, yes, it got buried in the ground uh, and people just chucked it away. You just can't do that anymore. Asbestos is really, really harmful. Uh, and to give you some idea of how harmful asbestos is, years ago, the wives who used to wash the workers' clothes, they were the ones that were dying more of asbestos than the actual workers. So they would come home, the workers take their clothes off and the ladies would give the clothes a shake and of course the wind would blow the asbestos, it was going in their lungs at the time and they were the ones who were actually suffering more from asbestos than the actual workers. So that just gives you some idea uh, just how harmful this stuff can be. So there are certain instances where you can remove the asbestos yourself, so you get a lot of corrugated garage roofs, they're okay as long as you're not disturbing the asbestos and breaking it up, as long as it can be re removed in one piece, uh, generally you can remove certain types of asbestos yourself. But again, you need to check this with the asbestos company just to make sure that it's not the harmful stuff that we're looking at. Uh, one of the main things is to make sure that when the asbestos has been removed is that you get the consignment notes. So the consignment note shows how much asbestos has been removed, where it's been disposed of properly in the, in the appropriate facility. Um, because if you're getting lending on a house like this to do development finance, um, they're gonna wanna see these consignment notes. Building control may want to see the consignment notes. The mortgage, you know, the people who buy the house and put a mortgage on the property, they may want to see the consignment notes. So at no point should you just remove the asbestos and dispose of it or get a company who doesn't know what they're doing and give you this paperwork, because without that, it could cause you a lot of trouble. On this particular property, this was a two-stage asbestos removal. So the first lot we removed from inside, so this was all the walls, all the ceilings, uh, and all the coving, so that was all asbestos. Uh, and originally this would have had an asbestos roof on it, which was replaced with a tile roof years ago. So as they stripped off that asbestos roof, little fragments of uh, asbestos fell down, uh, landing on the, on the, on the uh, ceiling. Uh, and again, this is just something you wouldn't really see without going into an intrusive survey. So that was the first stage. The second stage was the asbestos was behind the brickwork. So we had to remove the brickwork and then the guys could come in, take the asbestos sheeting away, uh, which now leaves us with the property in this state where we can now fully demolish it. Uh, there's no harm to us, all the asbestos has gone, been removed safely, we've got all the consignment notes, uh, and we're now ready to move on to the next stage. So I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. There's lots more videos, go and watch some more videos, lots of tips uh, out there for you guys who want to get into property development. Um, lots of educational videos to help you avoid making mistakes and do this thing correctly. And we hope to see you on the next video very soon.